in the midst of this ambiguous project, such as revolutionary the electric car industry and space exploration, Elon Musk has made a surprising announcement related to the historic Voyager probe mission. As a self-proclaimed science enthusiast, this latest revelation from Elon Musk has caused astonishment in the scientific community. In his recent statement, Musk addressed the future of the twin Voyager probes and how long they will be able to continue on their incredible journey through deep space. In an exciting video, Musk unveiled an amazing space discovery, inviting everyone to embark on an unprecedented interstellar adventure. When Musk was six years old, NASA launched the two Voyager probes, and now, decades later, Musk feels a special connection to this iconic spacecraft. As his own rockets take off from the same Cape Carnival in Florida, from where Voyager was launched. It's amazing to think that, after more than 50 years in space, Voyager is still operating. At the same time of their launch, few would have imagined that these pros would continue their missions for so long, as their initial goal was only four years. However, they have exceeded all expectations continually revealing new data about the universe. What many do not know is that the Voyager launch depended on a rare planetary alignment of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. This unique formation has not occurred since the time of Thomas Jefferson in the early 19th century. This alignment allowed the probes to receive gravitational boosts from each passing giant planet as if an invisible string was pulling them forward, accelerating their journey. This brilliant strategy, devised by Gary Flandro, an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, reduced the travel time from Earth to Neptune from 30 years to just 12 years. However, there was a catch. This realignment of planets occurs only once every 176 years. Aware of the unique opportunity it represented, NASA jumped at the chance, knowing that they couldn't pass it up. Taking advantage of this cosmic alignment, the agency decided to build not one, but two identical spacecraft. The Voyager spacecraft, roughly the size of an old Volkswagen Vito and equipped with 69 kilobyte Amiga computer, far less powerful than any modern device. In fact, even a car key fob today has more memory than these pioneering spacecraft. Despite their technological limitations, the Voyagers had 8-track recorders to store data from their instruments. This data was transmitted to Earth via a transmitter with the equivalent power of a refrigerator bulb. To compensate for the weak signal, both spacecraft were equipped with 12-foot diameter dish antennas capable of sending and receiving data over long distances. Since their launch in 1977, the Voyager spacecraft had made a number of groundmaking discoveries. Voyager 1, for example, holds the record as the farthest human-made object from Earth, being billions of kilometers in our interstellar space. However, this feat is not easy, as the spacecraft faces extremely low temperatures and high levels of radiation. Since solar power is not feasible due to the great distance from the sun, Voyager spacecraft rely on thermoelectric generators, RTGs, for operation. Each spacecraft carries three RTGs that use pulmonium-238 as fuel source. As the isotope decays, it generates heat, which is converted to electrical energy. Initially, each Voyager produced around 470 watts and 30 volts of DC, but over time the power has decreased. Even so, this technology remains one of few viable solutions for powering the spacecraft for decades, allowing them to continue their mission of exploration in the depths of space. In March 1979, after 546 days traveling through space, Voyager 1 finally arrived at Jupiter. Its sister spacecraft Voyager 2, which launched a few weeks earlier, also reached the planet in July of the same year. These impressive space probes were designed to serve 
as stable platforms for their camera, which used advanced filters to capture full color images of the planets they encountered. Unlike the fast rotations, Voyager's motions in space was deliberately much slower, approximately 15 times slower than the movement of a clock's hands. This meticulously designed decision was made to ensure that the images were sharp and clear, minimizing the risk of blurred images that could compromise the mission. Voyager 1 began transmitting images of Jupiter while still months away from the gas giant, and the quality and detail of the images were exceptional. One surprising discovery was Jupiter's colorful moon, Io, which defied all expectations. While the moons of the solar system were thought to be similar to our own, Voyager revealed an amazing diversity of lunar landscapes around Jupiter and Saturn that had not been anticipated. Voyager was also equipped with advanced instruments, such as the LECP charged particle system. From a distance of more than a million kilometers from Jupiter, LECP detected unusual signals that puzzled scientists. Oxygen and sulfur ions reached the detector at levels never before observed, with an increase of three orders of magnitude. Although it was initially thought that there might be an error, closer examination revealed that something extraordinary was occurring. In addition, Voyager's camera discovered that Jupiter's moon Io harbored active volcanoes, solving a long-standing mystery. This moon, somewhat larger than the Earth moon, was confirmed as the most volcanically active body in the entire solar system. In fact, Io showed 10 times more volcanic activity than Earth, which completely challenged our previous notions about volcanoes. Io's vibrant colors and strange ions detected by Voyager's instruments were related to materials ejected by the moon's intense volcanoes. Io's largest volcanoes, called Pili, spewed plumes of materials that reached 30 times the height of Mount Everest, scouting the breeze over an area the size of France. Voyager's cameras captured more than 33,000 images of Jupiter and its moons, revealing a wealth of new information. For example, scientists were surprised to discover that Jupiter had rings, an unexpected revelation. In addition, Europa, one of the Jupiter's 53 known moons, showed a cracked icy crust, more than 60 miles thick, adding a new level of mystery to this moon. As the probe continued its epic journey, they arrived at the Saturn, while Voyager 1 traversed the planet's majestic rings and passed close to Titan. Voyager 2, meanwhile, headed towards Uranus and Neptune, making important discoveries in the process. It detected 10 new moons around Uranus and confirmed that Neptune, like Saturn, had its own ring system, thus expanding the list of ranked planets in our solar system. Voyager 2 came within 2,980 miles of Neptune three years later, where it measured the fastest wind ever recorded in the solar system, reaching 1,000 miles per hour. It also confirmed that Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was one of the coolest places in the solar system with surfaces temperatures dropping around minus 235 degrees Celsius. Despite these extreme conditions, Triton showed ice volcanoes spewing nitrogen gas and particles up to 5 miles into the air, revealing another astonishing finding on the Voyager mission. Voyager 1 is famous for capturing one of the most iconic images of Earth, a story that would not be complete without the persistence of renowned astronomer Carl Sagan. When NASA was ready to turn off the probe's cameras after capturing images of Neptune and its moons, Sagan insisted that Voyager 1 take one last series of photos. His influence led to Voyager 1 directing its camera back to Earth on Valentine's Day 1990, capturing 60 final shots, including the legendary pale blue dot, taken from a distance of 3.8 billion miles away. This image remains the most distant photographs of our planet with Earth barely visible as a single pixel reflected in sunlight. Today, Voyager remains in contact with the control center, although it moves three to four light seconds away each day. Scientists use NASA's Deep Space Network, 
which has three tracking centers strategically located on Earth, to connect with the probes. Both spacecrafts have crossed the heliopause, the boundary of our solar system, with Voyager 1 crossing it in August 2012 and Voyager 2 following more than six years later. However, true to their reputation for surprising their controllers, Voyagers have recently sent back data that have left NASA puzzled. In particular, Voyager 1 has sent back signals that do not seem to match the expectations about its altitude and orientation control system, leading scientists to wonder whether these data are authentic or just random noise. Despite its age, Voyager 1 remains one of NASA's most valuable spacecraft, demonstrating admirable performance for most of its mission. Let me know what you think in the comments box. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. I'll be seeing you in the next video.